This neighborhood of shipping container-like apartments sits on the U.S. Embassy in Kabul. These house most of the Americans who live and work at the embassy, including Mary Noel Pepys, a one-time Heller Airman lawyer who has devoted the past 15 years of her career to international rule of law work. Now it's 38 countries I've worked in, Papua New Guinea and Mongolia and Algeria and Jordan, you know, Nepal. Even for a veteran world traveler like Pepys, coming to Kabul was intimidating at first. Last year I was contacted by the State Department and asked if I would be interested in being the justice advisor at the embassy in uh, Afghanistan. Well, that was a, you know, I, I, I don't really go to war zones. I'm, I'm quite a peacenik here, and I don't do that. After some consideration, though, she left her comfortable San Francisco apartment to live here in the shipping containers, which the embassy workers call hooches. Pepe says she just couldn't pass up the opportunity. I thought I could really utilize my expertise going to Afghanistan. So I said yes. So for a year, I'm here for a year as the justice advisor, and uh, it's a fascinating job, fascinating job. She says the job is not about imposing the American legal system onto Afghanistan. I can tell you from the 15 years I've been doing this representing the United States government, uh, not one instance have I ever been asked by our U.S. government to export our system. What we do is we export principles of democracy. Afghanistan's democracy still has a long way to go, but Pepys hopes to improve the justice system here by working with the various rule of law efforts on the ground. She works six days a week, but she still has time to miss her big family back in the United States. I have three brothers and one sister, nine nieces and nephews, and 14 great nieces and nephews. And she has one simple reason for being here. How many lawyers go to bed at night in the United States when they're practicing law, go to bed at night really feeling like they made a difference? In Kabul, Marissa McQuilkin, Legal Times.